Hello everyone, welcome to this very official formal setup that we have here. It's like a hostage video. I feel like I'm a newsreader. Blink three times if you need help. <laughs> we are going to be doing a puzzle at the same time. We have a Thomas Kincaid Disney Parks. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Bench! <laughs> You would have really shouted at me if I had done that. Um, it's a 500 piece one, so they don't take us too long, but we just thought it'd be boring with us sat here just <laughs> chatting. So we thought we'd like do a little bit at the same time. So we always do the edges first. And it keeps me entertained because I have a zero attention span. This is true. So I told him he could do a puzzle as we chat. So okay. I'll get a nice lolly afterwards. Get a nice lolly, do you? <laughs> We do actually have to twist ice lollies in the freezer. Um, so we wanted to say thank you so much for all the questions if you asked us a question on Instagram. Somebody said, how are you both? Times are scary. I just want to check in with you. We're all gravy. Well, that was a really nice question. We are good, thank you. I feel like some days are better than others, um, but most of the time, generally, we've been... We've been good. Yeah, we're, we're still waiting for the famed argument that everyone says they're having with their partners. We've been. That was right one of the recently. questions was um, people asked if we'd had big arguments and how we were coping together, being together so often. Because if you follow my vlogs or you watched us for the last three years, you'll know that Benji normally works away. So he is an electrician and he um, travels all over the country to do the work he does. I which... work in hospitals a lot of the time, so I am, we've been kicked out of the hospitals at the moment so because only key yeah. staff can be in there so. but you might be called at any point obviously because yeah. you might be needed benji has always worked away um sometimes he's here for the full week other times he's away on a monday doesn't come back till friday but every week is different for us and we've always been used to it and i don't mind evenings on my own i keep myself busy and you don't mind being away so we're quite used to it but now obviously we're together 24 7 i'm still working benji's not and I, I honestly did think it would take some time to adjust, but because we don't have so much time together, we're really grateful for it. So it's been nice, hasn't it? It helps we like each other as well, doesn't it? Helps that we like each other. It does. <laughs> we are kind of like, we're like best friends though at the same yeah. time. So like, it's like hanging out with your best friend all the time. So we've been doing loads of fun stuff. I think because you've got your office, a lot of the time you'll just be up there and I'll be doing other stuff. So we are quite, mm. quite separate as well. And we do have a few rooms that if we are getting a bit annoyed with each other or a bit feeling a bit, a bit time of, out, yeah. space, I'll just chill in the front room or you'll chill in your office or But I think it's, a, or... it's nice to have that balance, isn't it? So yeah. like, I will go and do work and you'll go and chat to your mates and like, I'll catch up with my friends or we'll go and catch your friends together and then maybe you'll go for a run or maybe we'll walk together, depending yeah. on if we want to be together or if we want that time to ourselves. So yeah, that's how we've been coping. Thank you for everyone that asked those questions. Favourite film that you've watched during the lockdown? Avengers, is it the what, what? Mine was Captain Marvel's Winter Soldier. That has no, been my favourite so far. Captain America Winter Cap Soldier. What did I say? Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain America Winter Soldier has yeah. been my favourite film so far. I did like Ant Man last oh, night though. What did we do? We did do a double bill though. What did we do? What, watched it back to back. Cheaper by the dozen, one and two. Watched oh it my god, yeah, throwback. Like a three and a half hour slot. We watched the first one while eating lunch, and then we were like, should we just. Watch the, Watch the second one. one. Yeah. And that is a old school classic. Oh, I loved those films Same. growing up. They were really good. They threw back like loads of memories for me watching those. So yeah, that was fun. The next place that you plan to travel to together when this is all over. So if you missed our Disney day at home, then we do have a Disney trip booked yeah. um, for October 2020. So we will talk about that later in the year when the timing's right. The place I'm planning to travel to after this is over is Nando's. Do you know what? I've written a little list of places I want to go when this is over. <laughs> I want to browse Primark, Home Sense, TK Maxx, Home Bargains, and I want to go to Nando's, Miller and Carter, McDonald's, Yo Sushi. Yo Sushi. Yeah, there are kind of main places that we love the it most. It is kind of alright though because it's forced us to cook again. Yeah, I've been enjoying cooking with you, but you've done most of the cooking, I know. Yeah. But like the bits that we have done together. Do you know what it's forced us to do? It's it's forced us to be more creative and yeah. think about what we're eating and how we want to... The first couple of weeks we had bolognese for like every other meal. And then we've now branched out into... We've been having salmons and we bought, we bought a whole chicken. Um, we had a hot salad, didn't we, yesterday? That was yeah, nice. Yeah, lots of things. Just been a bit more creative. You did a curry that was nice. Um, this question's easy. Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Breakfast for me. What? I think I prefer breakfast. I love breakfast name and I love one, brunch. Name me one time you've ever skipped dinner. 
True, and yes. You quite, you, you quite often will skip breakfast. But I enjoy brunch. Like, I enjoy full English and I love pancakes and I, I like cereal. I like bagels. Like, I love brunch I, food. I love eggs for breakfast, any type of egg. So I, I think I prefer breakfast, but, you know. As it's Easter time, uh, top three UK chocolate bars. I thought this was a good question. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I need, I broke and you can't be springing serious questions like this on me. I hadn't thought about my answer, but my instinct straight away is I love a white chocolate Twix. I love a twirl. I love twirls. Whispers are good. Whisper is good. Whispers are good. I know it's really controversial, but I love a bounty. <laughs> Go on, your top three. Double deckers. Good. Double, double decker. Okay, yeah. Um, you like a twirl as well, don't you? I like you? a twirl, I like a whisper. I like, um, what's it, they're called munchies. Yeah, those little, little, the little ones. The little squares of caramel and biscuit in the middle. Is that a chocolate bar or is that just chocolates? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't beat Dairy Milk and Yorkie. You've gone well over your three, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm that. just... <laughs> if I had a week to prepare, need to write me this in a okay. structured email Sorry. so I can prepare my answers. Relationship questions. How did you both meet? I know a lot of you know this story already, but do you want to give it in really short, like less than 30 seconds? Uh, matched on Tinder. You cancelled on our first date. Your friend told you to pull it together and just try it anyway. Went to a nice bar on... We went for a steak. Yes. Went and then went to you the picked nice... the restaurant and you picked yeah. me up and there's a whole vlog of this by yeah. the way. I picked you up, bought you flowers. Yeah. We sang Disney songs on the way down to the date. We did. Um, and then after we had our steak dinner, we went to a place called Aruba, which is like a bar on the beach in Bournemouth, and it's lush there. We love it there. We got um, a really nice seat looking over the. Uh, See, See outside. Watch the waves, cr waves crash. And they they had the heaters on because it was February, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then we had the second date the day after when we just wore our pajamas. Which I didn't vlog because I didn't want people to like <laughs> wonder why I was seeing the same guy two days in a row. Yeah. So I actually cut that out of the vlog. And nothing happened for a while. No, we no. Kept, we kept it. We kept it PG for a while. <laughs> and then we just enjoyed seeing each other. And then the day, the third so no, day, second day was pajamas, oh. tub of Ben and Jerry's, and Frozen. And then third day, I cooked dinner for you, didn't I? Yes, on the at, Sunday. at your house. So we sit yeah. in my house on the Saturday night and your house and then on the Sunday you night. you met my dad on the Tuesday. I met your mum and brother on the, the next week. Mm -hmm. And then you met my mum on the Sunday. So we'd met all family. All yeah, within a week. Relevant families. So a lot of the questions week. are like, when did you know you were the one for each other? And we always so say you know, like... From our, from our chats. Straight away, like instantly. It was the weirdest thing. Um, it's like even before I met you, met you. Like just from our chats, I'm like, okay, this girl's on the same page as me. Yeah, yeah. We had the Very same, sweet. we had the same values. I think that's because Tinder's a very mixed thing. You can you can use it for however you want. Obviously, some people use it in specific ways, mm. but we were both genuine people looking, actually looking for a relationship. We'd yeah. both had it. We both come out of like two year relationships. Yeah. Um, and I had had two relationships before Benji from Tinder, so I was kind of like done I, I really thought that was it i was over dating and i was done and the minute i was like that's me. it i met bench um you're and welcome. that was you're welcome that was february 2017 and we're now three years into our relationship okay before we carry on uh, oh whoa whoa thomas kincaid little logo boom um so we're doing the edges now yeah we need so to bring our edges together then so we can do them together when to become one. one so the next question is your favorite thing about each other my favorite thing about you is that you make me laugh so much my favorite thing about you is that you laugh at my jokes <laughs> there we go ways that you keep your relationship fresh and exciting um that's a good question i don't think we, we feel the need to do that though we do we talk about anything if, if like either of us is feeling so away I, or wanting to do something we'll talk about it and we're both very good at communicating with each other and i think that's the most important thing in our relationship your favorite holiday that you go on together the thing is with benji and i is that we've been really really lucky to do lots of different trips over the last few years so we've done theme parks skiing sailing holidays city mm. breaks spa breaks like we've done a good variety yeah. of things like i'd never been skiing before i met you and so we went with your family a couple of times and we went together as one uh, together once as well um and that's something that i might not have done before i met you but i love now yeah i think our favorite holidays is obviously disney like the disney trip we do 
is amazing. Um, so I think that's my favourite, but I do love skiing with you. I just love any trips with you. Even when yeah. we went to the Isle of Wight, it was so fun. Yeah. Like adventures, if we're going somewhere, we get so excited. What was your favourite early memories together? Ooh, um, our very first holiday to Tenerife. Oh, uh, such a good trip. That was a really amazing, like last minute um, trip that we did we just booked it and we did it again actually last year because we enjoyed it so much um yeah i loved that that was there were loads of in in jokes yeah lot, a lot we of still things say now. yeah that was one of my favorite early memories have you got one in particular or no um we where everywhere we go we play crazy golf oh and yeah i love that as such like a unique thing that we well, not necessarily unique That's other people awesome. do also play crazy golf yeah, but, but it's like it's, it's one of our things we do yeah. yeah i love it and we go and find mini golf places yeah. if we can. Has your relationship changed much since living together? We got this question a lot, and I think people forget that we've been living together for the last two years. Two years, yeah? Pretty much. <laughs> two years. Uh, so I moved in to live with Benji and his dad a year into our relationship to save money on me having to rent a flat by myself. Um, to, to save money for this scenario where we were ready to buy a house. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we lived there for two years yes Ish. and then we moved in here yeah yeah so has our relationship changed much it hasn't changed i think it's bo it's bonded us yeah i think that the where it changed most was in the first after the first year when we moved in together for the first time yeah and obviously yeah. this house is bigger than the bungalow that we were living at and just the separation of having two floors and you feel like if you do need just half an hour just to chill out and stick your headphones on and yeah. watch a YouTube video and if Brogan's upstairs and I'm downstairs it's you feel like a world apart and you do have time to reset and yeah you know what I mean I love living with you it feels right so. a lot of questions on when we're getting a dog what breed and the names and in all honesty we really want to keep this to ourselves until we're ready because it might not be until what well, we think end of the year right yeah we don't want to get her before she go yeah we don't want to get her before Disney, because obviously that's not fair to get a puppy and then go mm -hmm. away. Um, so hopefully around November time ish. November it all depends on finances. Like we're both in the same thought of we don't want to get a dog and that's have to make true. sacrifices because we weren't ready to buy a dog. Like we know yeah. that we've both owned dogs before. I've had rescue dogs before. Um, I've fostered and adopted dogs from um, uh, dog charities and. Mm -hmm. There are hard work, vet spills when they're young, all the jabs, yeah. all the neutered, all the microchipping. It's yeah. a lot of money and we don't want to just go into it willy-nilly. Yeah, and also things like I want to get the garden ready and we just wanted to live in the house, just us two, before yeah. we introduced a dog. Because a dog is a big commitment and a huge lifestyle change, especially if we get a younger dog or a puppy. Yeah. We're leaving all our options open in that respect. Um, we're um, doing things around the house in with a dog in mind as well. like. We kind of want to move the kitchen around a little bit. Nothing major, but the floor isn't exactly what we want. It's got lots of scratches on it where people have dragged stuff over the floor before. And, yeah. and so we want our own floor, our own kitchen. And so we don't want to do that and then buy a puppy. And, like and, then, we the didn't. Pu and then the puppy chew all the, chew all the worktops. Yeah, and, uh, on a like brand new flooring. Like we didn't bother with the carpet in the lounge, did we? Because yeah. we knew that the dog would mostly be downstairs. So yeah, we definitely want a dog. We think we'd be... Um, sorry, I've just realised they don't go together. <laughs> um, we think that um, a dog would be perfect for our life, but... Um, Especially with you working at home as well. Yeah, but just not yet. Um, somebody did ask about how your family felt when they find, found out I was a YouTuber. The same think... way as your family felt when they found out I was an electrician. Yeah, I thought that. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's like they, they found out I had a job. I just... They weren't weirded out by it at all. Benji's family are really cool. Like, that's not to say that they completely understand it. No. <laughs> But your family are really open to yeah. like learning about my, it anyway. My, my dad watches the odd, odd vlog, doesn't he? And he'll ask yeah. questions. And then my mum watches, she, she doesn't bother about the vlog, she just likes watching the holiday vlogs. Same way as when we come back from holiday, we'll go around and we'll show everyone a photo album because we're like old school and we like photo albums we do, still. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's like that kind of thing, isn't it, really? Yeah. And my mates obviously know that you have videos and they've always been really cool about it i think at the very beginning it was like light banter with me but yeah. actually deep down i think they're all like they're really cool about it um and i appreciate that a lot so yeah and it's great because on nights out i'm now the one that takes the photos because 
they would expect <laughs> you to get the good photos. What things are you similar in and what things are you different? Quite ginger. I'm not as ginger as you. You're proper ginger. I'm more auburn, but yes. I'm auburn. But... You're more ginger. I mean, the sum of my hair goes. Looks dark now, but it goes really light. I um, get like really like blonde streaks in it. Benji yeah. also gets told he looks like Prince Harry on every single vlog <laughs> we've ever made. We have it in the comments of every video, I think. So yes. And I get stopped like walking in public, ho walking around hospitals, and like people say, "Oh my god, you like Prince Harry?" And I was like, oh, "What do you say to that?" Yes. Like thank no, you. <laughs> it's a compliment, I guess. Yeah, uh, in America as well, I get it a lot. Oh when my we go god, to Disney. yeah. And then people hear your accent and they love it even more. Yeah. Who loads the dishwasher? Both, Both of, of us. us. Yes. Benji's been doing more of the cooking recently because I'm still working. But we both... If, like, you've cooked a big meal, then sometimes I'll just do it by myself. But most of the time we do it together. So a problem half is a... Problem, problem shared is a problem half. That's it. Problem shared. Yeah, so... We try and... I think I, I think, do take on more more cleaning. I was going to say, you do a lot of the housework. Like, the, the cleaning. Because yeah. I've got this horrendous affliction where I just don't see mess. Like you could literally, there could be. We don't agree on like the <laughs> level of detail. I like think I could have my Brogan could have emptied my wardrobe during the night, thrown it across the bedroom floor, and I'll walk to the bathroom, do my teeth, go downstairs, and not notice it. It's a thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, at the same time, when things do have a home, I love putting stuff in their each little individual home. So yeah, we've learned that quickly. And when we got the house, it was really important to me that we gave everything a home, and like yeah. Benji knows where his things go. And he's much better now. I think you've definitely, yeah, you've definitely got better. It's like about that. house proud, aren't you? You don't want your kitchen to be a mess. You don't want your front room to be a mess yeah. because it's yours. It's your house. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that kind of explains it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we at puzzle wise? You've got one bit there. Is that go? That goes up here somewhere. Oh, I've got a light tree. There's a light tree somewhere. How important was it that you lived together before you bought a house together? In my opinion, very important. I wouldn't make that commitment lightly. It, no. Buying a house together felt as committed as like getting married. Part of like what we were saying with um, both being have similar views and that we both wanted to, we both see our life going in the same way. Yeah. Like meeting, moving into each, uh, moving in with each other. Getting a house together. Yeah. Marry, uh, engaged. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> engaged, engaged. Married. Kids, yeah, and then children if we're ready yeah. or we want to. Yeah, yeah, that's the life. And building our careers and travelling and that's the kind of thing we both yeah. wanted. So, Because some of our friends are getting married before they've bought a house together because yeah. financially I think it's so expensive to do both at the same time. So I, just, I always say you know when you know. Like yeah. You, I can't sit down, sit here and say to you, Oh, you'll know when you find the person because of this, 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 this. You you just get that feeling. Yeah, it just felt right. Like, I didn't even hesitate. Like, it was sad when I left my flat, don't get me wrong, because there's so many memories there. Yeah. And it was a big part of my life, and I don't regret it. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it, it was important to me that we lived together. And that for you. Either. It doesn't? No. Oh, no. What are your next renovation and decorating plans? Kitchen and floors done, but that's going to be post-dog. No, so in order of the things we want to do okay. next is... Downstairs bathroom. Yeah. We want to sort the Garden. decking out, but that'll probably be next summer. What else do we want to do? Oh, I'll put up an outside light for you at some point. Mm. Favourite things or your favourite room in the new house? I think this is my favourite room. The kitchen or the toilet and the bathroom. Oh, I was going to say the toilet? No, the, the, the toilet. You mean the bathroom, The bathroom, because we've got a lovely shower, a lovely bathroom. It's mm. so light in the mornings, mm. which is quite nice, because I don't normally see sunlight in the morning. I'm normally up at five. You leave for work so early, yeah. So it's, it's very much a, a get your teeth and get done kind of thing. Yeah, I enjoy that about the, our house. There's like a rabbit or a bird there. Uh, yes, I think yeah. that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the outside. We had a lot of questions asking if this was our forever home, which... We both have said no. I, I could see us being here 10, 12 years. I can see us being here less, personally. Um, some, I, I don't know, I think maybe at least five, but I think we'll be ready. I don't know, it depends, it on, depends on how our on, life goes. It depends like, on life, it depends on housing market, it depends on... Finances. We, we, could, we could, instead of moving, build an extension. We could go up into the roof, like over the road. Yeah. They've gone sideways. 
and up. Yeah. So that's, that's something that we could do as yeah, well. Yeah, because if we did that, then we'd definitely stay longer. Whereas if yeah. we didn't do any more like like structural renovations. I think the only reason we'd move is to get a bigger garden because that's that we do have a small garden. We've planned to be here a long time, but I wouldn't say it's our forever home because I think no. Benj and I are quite keen to like do, you know, if the opportunity rose, we would, and, and a good property here on the market and it fitted us, then we would obviously move. I think. I think we would anyway. But we're not I don't want to move again anyway anytime soon. Oh, this was a good question. This came up a lot. Do you have a similar taste in home stuff or is there a lot of compromising? We've both been quite surprised of how similar the things we have liked have been, haven't we? Yeah, we both actually I thought I would be really particular and I'd have to convince him like on a vision of stuff. But I think both of us are quite new to like any sort of interior design. Neither of us know exactly what we're doing. So we basically made an agreement that we just buy what we like and we like the same things. Yeah. We, it's been really fun. We both like pastel colors. We both like, we both, yeah, like. We like um, grays. Grays and then we like pops of color. So we don't want colorful rooms. We want um, like, light light rooms with pops of greens and pops of yeah stuff like that yeah it's been really fun i've really enjoyed um buying things with you it's not been yeah. we've not had to compromise at all we've just been buying what we like haven't yeah. we and what we can afford i think we look at our budget and we're like okay so what can we get for that and then like when we were in ikea and we were picking out bathroom stuff we both said oh yeah i like that I like that yeah there were sometimes where I'd be like, oh, I'm not so keen. And you'd be like, okay, let's find something that we both do like. <laughs> I, uh, I think my catchphrase when we've been uh, looking for things for the house was, I like this. Not for our house, but I like it. <laughs> yeah. We started to realise things that we do and don't like. You start like planning what you want for your home. And you think, oh, no, I don't own an 18th century stately home. Like, <laughs> we don't have a cottage, so we can't really, it doesn't really fit. We don't have an arga for a kitchen. <laughs> have you thought about how you'll decorate for Christmas? The answer to that is no. No. <laughs> we bought a tree. We bought a tree in the sale. Yeah. Uh, was it the January sale? So my mum recommended this tree company to us. I think it began with B. Uh, B, -b Bal something. Christ Christmas trees are us. And anyway, fake, really good fake trees. And I knew that we'd want a fake one. It was I a just, bit of an investment, wasn't it? It was an investment. And I did, actually, I did have to convince Benj on that one. I was like, trust me, this is a good buy. And you will thank me in December. Because one thing I, I hate dressing a Christmas tree. I don't know what it is, but I just can't stand it. I will do the tree then. So, that suits me. But you love buying de decorations with me. Yeah, see, so every trip we go on to Disney, and sometimes when we go skiing, we'll buy a little ornament for the tree. Yeah, you're good at nice. hunting out a good ornament. Do like an ornament. Yeah, <laughs> do love an ornament. Do like an ornament. But no, it. we don't know. But I'm really excited about... I know I shouldn't be excited about Christmas, but I am really <laughs> excited. I'm excited for the summer, don't get me wrong. Because <laughs> birthday, March... Next Christmas. <laughs> um, I am, No, I am looking forward to like our first Christmas here properly because we weren't here this Christmas, obviously. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll have the doggy by then too, so it'll be even cuter. Hopefully. I've got some bits of flowers, but they're not coming together. Um, how did you both do emotionally with house purchasing, with the house purchasing process? Because we were both ready for it mentally. It, it, it wasn't a shock. We, we were both prepared. We were both... I mean, it was terrifying seeing a, house, a deposit for a house in your account. More money than I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And then putting in an account and sort code and then pressing send. But uh, I'd I have think, to do that. I think we checked it about <laughs> 10 times at least. And then you yeah. called me down and I double checked that you got, oh, it was terrifying. It was scary, but like in a really like exciting way to like be. we were ready for it it we? just felt right i can't explain it yeah. like it was scary and for me i worked so hard to financially get to a place where i saved that amount of money yeah. and to let that all go like stung so i was like <laughs> i'm gonna have to start all over again yeah. but it's like obviously worth it because we have this beautiful home so um yeah it's, it was it was scary but we're both we don't have any regrets do no, we? no ragrats. No ragrats. <laughs> if you didn't live in Bournemouth, where would you live? Down the road in Paul. <laughs> yeah. Christchurch. Um. Nazond. Mm, or Australia. 
it was well, in the never, UK. We've never visited. No, Canada, we haven't. So we don't know. If we, if it was in the UK, <sighs> no. I don't, honestly, I think maybe like Cornwall, Devon, that we'd like definitely be southwest. Yeah, I, just, I, I can't. I don't think I like. I don't think I'd enjoy living in a city like London or Birmingham or Manchester. No. Um, we're not city people, but we do love the city, but we don't imagine us like living it. in the city. I like being at arm's reach away, so it's <laughs> nice for a day. Yeah, we like going to, uh, there. Yeah, like her. Um, and also, I've worked all the way around the country, so I've seen a lot of cities and a lot of towns and that. There are a lot of really nice places out in the country. I, don't, I think if, if we didn't live in a town by the sea, I'd like to live in the country. The countryside, Have yeah. some chickens, <laughs> a little log fire. Loads of land. But um, yeah, yeah. So I'll keep you updated if we win the lottery. <laughs> um, and then the last question was quite nice because it's the opposite of that. So your favorite things about living in Bournemouth? Living by the sea. The sea is a big one. Obviously our family here, which makes a big difference. So is that positive or negative? <laughs> Actually, both of them. Kidding. Obviously, our family, our friends, our life. You know, we both went to school here. We grew up here. We don't know anything different, do we? No, I guess it's just it holds so many memories. It's like close to our heart. I love Bournemouth because we kind of have a bit of everything. We've got the New Forest on our doorstep. We have Southampton that's not too far. We have the beaches and they're beautiful, like award-winning beaches with lovely sand. Obviously, a lot um, of people like go off to university and then fall in love with that city or town or whatever that they're living in. Yeah, and we haven't sense. had that. So we're, no. we've known this, we've fallen in love with this and I, I like it, yeah, I, I like it. And also it's not too far to London, two hours on yeah. the train. It's all right to London, yeah. which obviously you need for work. I also don't, like a lot of places in the South, I just don't need a sat now for now. I just know my way there. Know your way there, yeah. Whereas if we were to move up North, I obviously wouldn't have a clue. I also, I don't like change. You don't I'm, like I'm quite content of <laughs> my life at the moment. <laughs> That's nice, it's nice that you feel that way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so they were all the questions. So thank you so much if you asked them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Nice. Yeah. See you soon. See you later.